All right, in this tutorial, we'll be analyzing images. That is our own images will be uploading to S3 and recognition will analyze and detect the labels on it, right? Including uh, like any kind of objects like flowers or um, like uh, can be human being like me even. So I have the sample files on my computer already and uh, I let's begin with the tutorial. Let's uh, begin with S3 because why S3? Because we are going to store the input files in S3. Let's click on create bucket. We'll be creating everything uh, from the scratch, right? Uh, just like my previous tutorial. So if we look at the code, we need to be careful about the bucket name because if you're using my exact code, uh, the bucket name should be exactly same. If the name is not available, you can uh, rename in the code as well. But please make sure whatever you write the bucket name, uh, you make the changes in the code. So region is uh, US East one again. So we need to cross verify. Here if you look at the code is East US, um, US East one. So depending upon the location, you have got to put. So I have put the file name amit.jpg. This file is on my local computer amit.jpg. So let's um, go down. We'll um, keep almost everything as uh, as it is. Just block all public access will be removing it. I'll select I acknowledge. We'll go down and click on create bucket. So we'll be creating the bucket because we know that S3 is an object storage and uh, let's browse the files from our local computer now. Let's click on add files. All right, as per the code, I'll be browsing my file amit.jpg. Let's select this. Let's upload this file to uh, AWS cloud the file is now here right amit.jpg let me duplicate this tab because if you look at the architecture diagram we have done uploading the image to s3 bucket we need the lambda function which will call uh, inter which will interact with our s3 as well as recognition right and for that i am yeah, for that lambda we need i am so that uh, lambda can access our s3 and recognition right to carry out this task let's begin by creating one lambda function i'll type lambda in the search let's click on lambda now let's click on create function we'll uh, select author from scratch i'll uh, write uh, we can give any name gen ai uh, uh, test right since our uh, code is in python we'll select uh, the uh, latest version of python 3.12 looks good then um, we'll go down and here we'll use an existing rule the rule is already here uh, if we scroll down, this file will be available for diamond members and above, uh, including all hands-on files. So basically what uh, the IAM role is all about, like uh, we'll be uh, requiring the minimum access to get and list recognition, uh, detect labels. And also from the S3 side, uh, we need to describe get and list, right? So I hope you are familiar with my previous tutorials about this, uh, what it does, right? So let's go back and select our existing roles which i have created so after selecting the role let's click on create function all right our uh, gen ai test function is now ready if we uh, go down here we have we can write our code so i have the uh, code already in place as uh, mentioned let's uh, copy my code let's paste here the entire uh, code please make sure the bucket name and the image name should match i'll again cross verify it's cloud guru amit ai this is the bucket name looks good and for the file it's uh, amit.jpg which is this one so uh, everything looks good and uh, now um, there will be one trouble right and the trouble let's first purposely face the trouble then i'll um, give you the debug right if you're following my previous tutorial you know what to do but still let's uh, if you're uh, following this tutorial let's uh, go ahead we'll click on deploy to make the changes available our changes are now uh, are now reflected so uh, now we we'll need to click on the uh, test here we need to create one event name we can write anything the event name let's give it a name test click on save and now let's click on test i know it won't work because it's will time out somewhat it, it got saved right because it's less than three seconds by default you know the time is three seconds by the way uh, since this is not an uh, this time we haven't got an error but if you got error just remember that we need to 
change the settings from your configuration and increase the timeout button so for this uh, we got the output if for the next demo if i don't get the output i'll debug you in front uh, like in this tutorial so since if i look at the image let's open my image so this is my image right uh, this is what recognition has uh, like um, uh, done the homework let's check what it has done it has uh, detected a face right uh, head uh, like it's head of me def definitely then uh, this gives us the confidence like uh, yeah that is a uh, like the ai is confident yeah that there is one head and kind of confidence level now uh, if we go down person description so uh, bounding box are nothing but kind i think like a kind of a box a uh, rectangular square box those kind of things it's not exactly those kind but a box right uh, so let's go down it also detects it's a human picture because if i look at my picture it's definitely a human being right um then photography photo and it's a portrait mode kind of photo so portrait um then we uh, look uh, here adult definitely i am an adult so it has uh, done a good work then if i go down it's detected a uh, male right again looks good let's go down if you see there will be lot of details about me here now apparels and access accessories like about my clothing so i have uh, wore a formal wear right if you check my attire it's formal i have uh, used a formal wear that's what it has detected a formal i have uh, there is a tie right see the descriptions and minute details how recognition uh, observes i'm wearing a tie it has also detected that right um, then again formal wear clothing right shirt i have wore that uh, and my expression is kind of happy um, uh, the face is not extremely smiling but it you can see a little bit of smile uh, so that's what it has detected uh, the smile so there there are tons of things you can uh, explore now let's um, go ahead with the second demo that is let's uh, upload the flowers here is our second file flower.jpg so this there is a like kind of roses we can see let's uh, now upload the file on our s3 bucket let's click on upload let's click on add files i'll browse my flower file here ticket upload our file got successfully uploaded if i check now there are two files now i'll target the flower.jpg so now let's get back to the code and here i'll just um, let me uh, i can also do a copy paste if i don't want to uh, take the headache i'll do the copy paste for the file other things are same we know because the bucket name doesn't change it's the same bucket let's click on deploy now let's click on test i hope it finishes before 3 seconds otherwise it will give an error yeah that's what i was telling that we need to configure see there's a timeout so whenever you face timeout just remember by default lambda is set to 3 seconds and some projects i have seen 5 seconds so we need to go to the configuration here if you look the timeout is 3 seconds so let's quickly edit this and make it 10 seconds let's click on edit i'll change the time to 10 seconds and then click on okay all right now if you look after making the changes i have changed the configuration timeout as 10 seconds now i'm good to like uh, run the code till 10 seconds i won't face any kind of problem so now let's rerun the code by clicking on test yeah it got succeeded the time is something uh, like in between 3 uh, to 4 seconds so we are saved right due to the configuration change now it has detected a flower definitely it's a flower right if we yeah, let's go back to the flower image and let me open this and open the here so it's definitely flower it's a plant it says so it's a kind of arrangement flower arrangement definitely arrangement is there right we have arranged the flowers it it's in a like a, a kind of it's in jug it's arranged true let's go down it has detected a flower bouquet as well so it's a kind of bouquet right because a bunch of uh, flowers or a collection of flowers we call is bouquet that that's what it has mentioned the ai let's go down and now there there is also detection of the type of flower which we i have that is rose i know there are different varieties of rose like pink rose yellow rose uh, red rose so it has detected rose as well see so see the uh, magic recognition does how much of confidence level it has um, 
uh, got and how accurate it is i i feel see there there are petals definitely flowers will have petals right so petals is also detected floral design yeah so we got tons of things so let's get back to the architecture diagram where we are so uh, we are here let's brush up what i have done so this is me i have created uh, s3 bucket first of all then uploaded our own image from our local computer then i have uh, created one lambda function and configured the am role for s3 and recognition access because lambda um, needs to interact with our input file as well as interact with recognition because lambda will kind of send request to recognition to check our images and process the result back to lambda and which are we are seeing as a output in the lambda console so i hope you found this tutorial helpful thank you so much for watching this video let's meet our in our next gen ai video which got be more interesting